close it to 50, it'd be 52. No, we got it. I think we got to open this. We're adjusting for the difference in the thickness of the belts. The belt thicknesses really make a big difference here. See, that's what you're going to have to do. They start changing all this around. Of course, I don't think you will. I think once you find a belt that you like, that's probably what you're going to run all the time. So you won't have to move all this a lot. We're messing with thick belts, thin belts, and you got to make sure you're not too heavy because we just went to a thicker belt. Now we got to bring the cam up to the drum so it's not just crushing. Get a line these up. So we bring it in and we scratch it, bring it down just so it's nice Very and level. Good. Just touch it off by feel and go from there. You know? And that when we first ran it in, it was way down because that other belt was so thin. Yeah. And I took the thick belt and put it on this one, so we had to make the adjustment. Yeah. That's way up, so bring it up to 52 until this one touches. I think that's 54 or whatever. What do you want to go to 52? Bring it to 54. So that bottom number is how low? Yeah, that's where we're sitting at. Okay. That's the thickness of the... Uh... Yeah, we're at 63. 63. You want me to go up a little more? Where do you want to get to? Nope. I think that that 600 is thicker though. Thicker. When I was feeling them in the box, it felt a lot thicker. So that bottom number, the thickness? Yeah, that this is the. As I move the bed up and down, I'll open the bed right now. And that number gets bigger. See that? And as I close it. Oh, so that's raising up from the bottom. Yep. Oh, okay. The head is at the, the bed is actually the thickness is closing. So you're going to a thinner part. Does that mean uh, the material that goes in will become that? It'll grind it to that thickness. No, because these belts are a little different. We mm -hmm. gotta. Once we get this all set up, we'll reset this, and then it will it will be the thickness. Yes, this part the this will match the outcoming thickness once we get it all set. Okay. We're just putting some different belts on and testing, and okay. once we get that, then we'll set this up so it'll match the thickness of the part that is coming out. Okay. So as far as what goes in, is there a tolerance of what can go Typically, in? Typically, you don't want to take off more than a couple, two, three thousandths, four thousandths. Um, you guys are going to be polishing, so you don't want to hit it too hard. Mm -hmm. So that would be just, you measure the thickness of the part, and you should only be within, you know, maybe, say it's 50 thousandths. You'll set the machine at 48 thousandths or so, and you just get a nice scratch, nice finish in there. Okay. If it's over that tolerance, is there a chance of uh, breakage? Well, if, if it's quite a bit more, like maybe 10 thousandths, mm -hmm. it'll hit the over thick bar. Should hit the over thick bar depending on how it's set, and it'll it'll shut the machine down. Oh, okay. So you don't damage the. But it's, this is, and it also depends if the part is flat or, or straight. You know, you may have a bow that sticks up maybe you know ten thousand thicker than the part really is, and it may hit that over thick bar. So like this here is bowed up here. And inside here, you can see the over thick bar. Oh, yeah. And if, if that trips, if you hit that, mm -hmm. everything shuts off. Mm -hmm. See how this light goes off? Oh, yeah. And that shuts everything down. So, 
You said when it touches that, that light goes on, but you were clicking that on? I was hitting it with my hand. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Let's show on how it activates that. But you're pushing it hard into the belts. The belt's soft and the drum's soft. So maybe you could go to a harder conveyor belt, maybe a smooth top like he recommended, but a harder, like a 70 durometer belt. They, they make a round one that's really good. It's got a nice cloth back on it, a real slick fiber last back. And it's a good belt. It's probably got about 120 thousandths or maybe 3 sixteenths of rubber on it. And then we, we cut a relief groove around the outside of it, maybe two one inch relief grooves where the edges don't go through them because they tend to curl. Yeah. And it'll probably lay down good. And, and that way your part won't match into it, but it's still 20 thousandths thick. I, mean, no, I think, I don't know how much you run for that, but. Real sand belt. The problem is with a smooth top belt, they'll hot vulcanized belt. Sometimes their fingers splice like this. Yeah. So you gotta pull the bed out. Well off. we we do have a, a belt manufacturer that can put it's like this. Uh, and they have these splice. zip ties yeah. that go through. It is a slick yeah. belt. That's yeah. kind of a bad idea there. But yeah, you still got that splice, it's never the same. What's thicker on the belt? That's 40, I mean, uh, 4,000 thicker on 600 than it is on the 66,000 thick here, 70 here. Wow. But what, what, what number you got it at? Uh, I think I had it at 70, 73. Let me reset it. Uh, 73,000. Go ahead and close it. Huh? Go ahead and close it to like 54 or something to see where we're at. Close it to 54? Yeah. Oh, there, there's 54. Right there. Not too heavy? Right about right there and see what it does. Because right there, if you go up to another 5,000 up, see right here, I got it on 85. Mm -hmm. It's just a number, it doesn't mean anything. But if I go up maybe five, let's go up 10. It turns really easy. Five down, starts to hit, five more down. That's about right right there. Right there, see what it does. Okay. You can see how wide that is compared to how wide that is. Remember the drum's bigger. This is a smaller. So that's a six inch drum. That's a 12, uh, 11 and a half inch drum.
big thing is always try to stand to the side, never stand directly behind it. Wow, wow. That's warm, huh? We'll go ahead and uh, scrub the whole thing. How to cool it down? the belt? Yeah, you want to get full use of the belt, and I'm trying to dress the new belt, so I want to make sure we get the whole the whole belt covered. Okay. If we just run one side, then I'll knock the high grid off just this area, and then we'll, we'll get streaks if we don't hit the whole belt when you're dressing it. And then when you feed parts, you want to make sure you use the whole belt. You don't just run them all in one area. You'll wear out your conveyor belt, you'll wear out the abrasives in that area. And also you'll start wearing out the contact drum in that area. It's always easy to set the feet on the side that you're operating on. Looking a little hard.